So this video is going to be in response to Nick's question here on how to use the Google Finance function uh, for options. So I did a search online and it seems like somebody asked this question back in 2011 on how to use Google Finance uh, function for option quotes in Google Sheets. And the response from a Google employee was that they're working on it, uh, but don't have any specific time frame to implement it. And you can see this was back in 2011. It's 2018, so I don't think they're going to do it anytime soon. So the option that I had to solve it, I think at least solve it, was to use uh, the import XML function and use the source as Yahoo Finance instead of uh, Google Finance. So yeah, if you go to Yahoo Finance and you type in any sort of ticker here, oops, uh, let me just type in McDonald's. Uh, you can see that there's some topics here. Uh, one in particular is options. If you click on that, it gives you a list of the calls and puts for a particular day. Uh, and if you click on that particular contract name, you can see that there's already some fields there. It shows you the specific page for that contract, and then it gives you the information. So what I basically did was just take this URL and put it in that XML function from Google. Using the concatenate function, I was able to take uh, a cell in Google Sheets, referencing the contract name, and just plop it in there, and was able to get back basically that, that entire table that's here. Uh, there's this extra piece here. This is the XPath query. That's essentially like if you ever used a SQL, it's kind of like a where statement just to find where on this um, node tree, I think they call it. Uh, what part of the X, XML you want to basically target and pull back. So in this case, I'm targeting uh, all the table rows. That's what TR means. So essentially, uh, each one of these is a table, essentially. And each one of these rows here is uh, tagged in the HTML as TR. And each one of these individually is tagged as table data, so TD. So to get the column headers, I use TR. So this first line here, this is why it's highlighted in uh, yellow, it basically looks at uh, this contract name and returns back these two rows of information, so the, the header and the data itself. Now, in order to get it uh, in this, uh, I think, horizontally, I use the transpose function. That's why that's there. If I didn't use that, I would just copy this down and paste this here. If I didn't use transpose, it would return it back uh, vertically, like in a table that you saw on the sheet itself. So that's basically what it would do if I took out transpose. But keeping transpose, it just shifts it to the right, or just shifts it. So uh, in order to keep this structure without having to always have this header, I basically take the same uh, URL and just change that X path to uh, be a little more specific. So that's where yeah, having a little more information on how to use the X path helps. So essentially what this is doing, it says, give me all the table rows and then look at the table data, but they give me the last piece of it. So instead of taking both of these and give me two of them, just take this piece here. And that's the way I'm able to at least do it for this piece. So if I were to add another contract, um, I don't I don't have a list of contract names. So let me just go to, um, let's say Ford, right? And then I go to options. And then you find a specific contract that you want. You can just copy it here and paste it in. And then you're, you want to copy this one, not the header, because that just has the two columns. So you just copy this one down below. And that'll give you the same sort of information uh, for that specific contract. So if I click on this one, it's like navigating to the page and then pulling the pieces that you want um, for it. So that's one way to do it. Um, the, the way that I'm able to find at least, it gives you pretty much all that you found there, the volume, open interest, uh, the strike, and all that. And yeah, that's definitely one way to do it. I have some reference material here uh, on how to use the uh, specific function, and then how to uh, basically construct the XPAX pieces. Uh, this one by Dev Hints is the most useful that I found. And if you just want to learn more about XPaths, I think this example from the uh, developer network for Microsoft is pretty pretty useful in terms of understanding this piece and then breaking it down to target the specific pieces that you want. For example, this one is very clear on how to get to this piece right here. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this actually solves the question that you're asking for. Uh, if you if the data source uh, isn't say like a, uh, a listed option, which I probably won't be on uh, Yahoo Finance, uh, it might be on your specific platform that you're using. You might have to use uh, the URL for that. Um, and I think you might run into issues there if it has to do with logins and things like that. But uh, right now, whatever data source you're using right now, you can probably paste this in and find if there's any sort of uh, structure to that URL. Say if you click on the contract name, if, they, if you see the contract name appear in the URL as a query option, then you can definitely use that uh, as your data source and you know just play around with the XPath piece to pull out the pieces you need. And then if you want it in the column, uh, structured format, more for more so for like a database, you can use the transpose and then again play around with the XPath to get it so that you can work with it in a structured format. The reason I do it in this format is that you can then use a VLOOKUP on this or keep it uh, consistent with any sort of structure that you are currently following. I would recommend to keep all your attributes in separate columns. So hopefully that helps and uh, if you have any more questions like this, please let me know. I'm considering doing this channel mostly for personal finance, um, FIRE, which is like early retirement stuff, and and more like Python programming for uh, portfolios. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. And yeah, hope this helps. Thanks.